out for sale 1972 Dodge Challenger Rally. I'm going to walk around it, tell you about the car, fire it up, and then drive it. If you do enjoy the video, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos like this. Thank you. Like I said, 72 Challenger Rally. Finished in blue, white vinyl top, white and blue interior. Show quality restoration. The paint on this car is absolutely gorgeous. Chrome, trim, glass, wheels, trunk. Oh, the trunk's amazing. Anyway, you know, as always, tell you what I know about it. We'll fire it up and then drive it. And we'll start here in the front. And uh, as you see here, this front end section, this is just beautiful. Chrome bumper looks like new. Uh, the spoiler down below looks like new. Um, the fitment of the hood, this is perfect. Your 340 four barrel rally hood specifically. Um, I bought it from a collector who owned it for a few years. He got it from Louisiana. Before Louisiana, it was in Florida. And before that, it was in North Carolina. Um, I've had the car here for about eight months, to be honest. I've just been looking at it. I thought it was, you know, such a, a, a sweet car. I didn't want to sell it yet. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Um, very little usage on the car since its restoration. Maybe just a couple minor flaws on the paint. And the paint, as I go around it, is amazing. Um... There's just a couple little marks right here on the front of the paint. Everything else here, this is all fantastic. So let me let me go ahead and pop the hood here. Step back, your factory correct engine bay, your 340 four barrel number matching power steering. Power front disc brakes, I had to make sure the power steering was there. Uh, factory AC, the engine compartment, the paint in here is the same quality as the outside of the car. Um, stampings here, stampings here, trim tags in place, which I will, I, I decoded as many numbers as I could. I'll read them off just here in a second. Uh, stamping back over there. The underside of the hood, same thing. Um, runs very nice, very smooth, drives very nice. It, it's a factory restoration, so it, nothing's been pepped up. It doesn't sound loud. Not, there's no shift kit in it. it, it the way it should be, really. Um, this all beautiful. Um, so let me tell you a little bit about the trim code while I got you here. Uh, whatever codes I could get. N23 electronic ignition, you see that back there. N41 with dual exhaust without tips, but it's N42 well, next to it, which has the chrome tips, N85 TAC. Uh, R11 Music Master Radio, uh, hood insulation, trunk light, fender turn signals, uh, drip rail moldings, front end molding. Uh, it was a vinyl top car. Something about the tires that was U, but there was no code for it. And then power disc. And then, of course, your serial number's on there. Another thing I noticed about it, you know, little tags, they're in place throughout the car. Um, even you're like, your factory correct guy there. Anyway, we'll we'll keep going here. I'm friends with the person who owned the car, and uh, when I bought it, I said, "Do you have any paperwork for the car?" He said, "No," and I'm not gonna lie. I was cleaning the, the underneath of the car, not the underneath the uh, the carpet underneath the. It was underneath the passenger seat. There was an envelope marked with a gentleman's name on it, and it had paperwork in it. Uh, so I have the original broadcast, seat, broadcast sheet for the car, receipts, and some pictures of the car during the restoration, like down in primer and whatnot. Uh, you got your factory correct wheels on there, too. Fitment of the car all the way around. Perfect. Hood opens and closes. Perfect. Same thing with the trunk and both doors. Um, it's all original sheet metal. The trunk, the trunk is amazing. Wait till you see the trunk. Um, uh, all original sheet metal. The floors, it looks like the floors have never been touched. It looked like they didn't need to be touched, and they left them. What they replaced was your leaf springs, your shocks, gas tank, your lines. Uh, your front end was rebuilt, of course. All the bushings were done. The little bolts are all done, but the floors front to back, those are all original, rust-free, patch-free. Really nice. I got a lot of pictures. 
I can only show so many on eBay. The rest will be on my website when I upload them. So let's keep going here. I think I saw something here. The smallest little mark right on the lip down below. Um, your rally, you got your stripes on there. That's super cool. Um, you got your B. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you can tell why I didn't, why I just kept this and looked at it for a while. Um, top in the car. Uh, so you got blue with the white vinyl top, blue in the white interior. Really, really pretty combination. Um, factory tag in place there with the VIN on it. And look at that, that door jam there. The, the interior that shows the most use is probably this door panel. You see a couple little marks on this blue color in some spots, if I'm just being picky. Uh, but it shows light usage all the way around on the car, really, like not even, you know what I mean? Um, you've got a tap down there, your seats, your console, blue carpet, the dash. which is gorgeous. Factory gauges. It's your factory correct steering wheel. And again, the blue, the blue on the dash all the way around is really, really pretty. All the wood grain's nice. Your console's awesome as well. Let's get up, I'll show you the back. Again, look at that quality there. Press this button and lift. Back seat beautiful condition it's got front and rear seat belts your blue there that's awesome unmolested package tray let me zoom back out headliner mint vinyl top pretty much looks like new of course i didn't show it yet i know white always is hard to keep clean but it looks very clean do I got the keys? Who's calling the office phone? No call ID. Goodbye. Um, give me one second here. Again, we have just those couple of marks and that one below the door. Your lowers, awesome. And I don't, eh, I'm not gonna say what I was gonna say. Trunk fitment, perfect. I'm excited to show you the trunk. <laughs> and you can tell I'm excited about the car. Yeah, this thing is, this thing is sweet. I just noticed in a couple spots on this back bumper, like there's a little mark right there. Maybe they, if something brushed against it in storage. And a couple just faint miscellaneous marks on it. Maybe it was backed against the wall kind of a thing, but but that's about it. Black looks fantastic. Your trim looks fantastic. Um, that, they're not, that's not skimped out on. You know what I mean? It's, it's the same quality as the top of the car. Um, so let's pop the trunk here. I have managed to put the key in wrong every time. Today I will do it right. Underneath, beautiful. Not skimped out, paint the same as the car. Same thing goes for your jam all the way around with the weather stripping. You have your, your mini spare with the blow up bottle in it. And here you go. Reproduction, probably stuck it in the window for shows. And here is your, your envelope. Make sure nothing else is in there. You have original manual. I probably should have shown the trunk first. Pictures of the car. See, it was the Florida plates on it. There it is. There's the floors underneath. Again, it didn't need to be, you know what I mean? There we go. That's why the engine's as beautiful as it is, the compartment. When it was originally restored, it looked like it was blue bucket seats and well, obviously back seat with just a painted top. And the paperwork in here is at some point, I did see something about 
putting the blue seats in. So that was done after the fact. Front bucket seat white, rear bench seat white. And then here is your upside down broadcast sheet, which by the way, that's excellent condition. Not that that makes too much of a difference, but it's not ripped, it's not torn. Um, all your information on that. Um, and I might as well, I got it somewhere. I'll include the codes on the ad of the car. So let me stack this together here just real quick because then I will show you the trunk itself. Okay, there's your mat. There's your jack. Your factory markings in there, your inner quarters that are both original with all the factory markings. I mean, this is super cool to see. But anyway, let me, let me show you this guy. I'm sure you expect it by now. Oh my gosh, <laughs> look at that. I don't like to blow smoke in my videos. I don't like to, to exaggerate things. I mean, this is a beautiful car. Um, if I, I lift this side up and show you, but I'm sure you know what it looks like, but it's latched down there where the jack is. Um, even your hood hinges are painted like amazing. So let's keep going. Shuts just like a glove or fits like a glove. That shuts like a glove. An idiot I am. Well, I've kind of said everything I have to say at this point. Um, so let's just finish up and then fire it up. Is he at the other room? No. He's not? He's in the other building. Oh. He, he has COVID, so I would stay away from him. He what? He has COVID. Yeah. But I'm good. I don't <laughs> have it. I don't have it. You can talk to me if you want. All right. Oh, <laughs> Man, sorry to hear that. I know. He, he, he's almost at his end, though. Is he? Yeah. <coughs> How long has he been with it? A week? Uh, he got it last... Uh, he started feeling it last Monday. Yeah. And then he tested positive on Wednesday. So it, we're, we're, we're nearing the end. Last week, not this yeah, week. He, he was vaccinated. He was. I'll be damned. Did yeah. you know where he caught it at? I think. We don't know. Probably the Puckett Health Club. Probably. No, I, I, that's what I say. I will. When I talk to him, I will. Bye-bye. Uh, anyway, it will be up for sale later today on my website, nextgenclassiccars.com and eBay. Oh, both links will be in the description of this video. If you want to check it out, let us know. 72 Challenger Rally. Blue. White vinyl. What was it? Oh, white vinyl top. Blue and white interior. 340 original motor of course i don't know if i mentioned that it is the original motor um automatic torque flight beautiful restoration on this car here is one of the very few minor little baby touch-ups right there one of the little minute guys on the car how straight this is but we are gonna fire it up and then take it around real quick it's getting cold and Christmas is almost here and I'm ready to go home uh, thank you power steering factory AC power front disc I didn't mention that uh, and I'd rather not just keep going on and on so thank you Radio works. All right, we're gonna fire it up. 